My name is Craig Chisholm. I'm the Field Technical Manager for Potatoes and Vegetables here at Corteva AgriScience. I'm going to take a couple of minutes to tell you about Zorvec and Davia, a new co-formulated late light material. Uh, as you know, Zorvec is unique in its mode of action. It has unsurpassed preventative activity against late light, but also brings curative and antisporulant activity. It delivers stem blight control and is systemic, moving into new growth. And because of its persistence, it offers a robust 10 day spray into but its best position is at the rapid growth phase of the crop. So I'll just give you some detail about Zorvec and Davia. It contains Zorvec, as in the ag packs from last year, but co-formulated with Benthia valicar. It's registered for use on potatoes with a use rate at 0.4 litres per hectare, where you're allowed a maximum of four applications on the crop, but only three in succession. It also is authorized for use on onions, shallots, and garlic. The rate on these crops is 0.5 liters per hectare, and you're allowed a maximum of three on the crop, but only two in succession. Okay, so I'll take you into some trials. This was in Scotland at Offen Crew, and we're going to zoom in on the untreated here. Uh, in this instance, all the treatments you'll see uh, were applied through the rapid growth and stable canopy phase of the crop. We're looking here at the untreated and you can see that the blight epidemic is really significant here and it's taken out all the leaves and most of the stems. Moving to the market standard now, this was applied on seven days, as I said, through rapid growth and stable canopy and you can see the strikes on the top of the crop, which you typically see in a, in a field where blight was an issue. When you stretch the interval out to 10 days, however, the blight becomes much more structural in its impact on the crop. However, when you move to the ag pack, and many of you will have seen this in the last season of 2019, uh, the difference is striking in terms of the level of control which is achieved. And similarly, looking at Zorvec and Davia, which is available this season, uh, you see the same significant improvement in the level of control. Indeed, it was unsurpassed by anything else in the trial. So just moving to the data from the trial you've just seen, you'll notice here that the untreated in, is the red line uh, and the, the epidemic really started to take off from uh, the end of July. Uh, and the two black lines that we're looking at are the market standard, which was applied in the solid black line uh, at seven day intervals uh, and on the dotted black line on 10 days. And you'll notice that they start to diverge quite early after blight becomes present in the plots. The other thing to note here is that the Zorbeck Ag Pack, which is in blue, uh, peeping out from behind the yellow one, which is Zorbeck and Davia, are absolutely identical and there is nothing to choose between them. And that was true in all trials that we looked at. So now we come to looking at what the label enables us to do with Zorvec program. And this again comes from SRUC in air. And you've got the same development of the blight epidemic here in red and the standard in black and the Zorvec treatments in blue. Uh, and what you can see is that in each instance here, the treatment was applied during the rapid growth phase and then a uniform application was applied to all treatments uh, through the stable canopy phase. So the differences we're seeing are due to the applications at rapid growth. The standard Infinito was applied four times on seven days and you can see that once we get out into August it slowly starts to break and we get blight infection coming in from about the 14th of August. Uh, and the thing to note really is where we used our three Zorvex on 10 days, we had three weeks uh, before we started to see the same uh, development in the blight epidemic. Uh, uh, so there was a delay of three weeks in that, despite the fact that we were applying the same treatments in both instances. This lighter blue line it was where we used only two Zorvex in the rapid growth phase and we held back the 
remaining two for use at stable chemical. So looking at this representation of a blight epidemic, uh, by using Zorvec in two applications, either as a block or alternative at the rapid growth phase, enables us to establish as clean a start as possible for our blight program, enabling us to push the exponential phase of the blight epidemic further out in time, hopefully beyond the point of crop burn down. Okay, so looking ahead now to 2020, clearly we had a very significant blight epidemic in 2019, despite the fact that we had a benign planting uh, period uh, and very little blight pressure until the weather changed and we found ourselves right in the middle of a major epidemic uh, starting in early June. This year, we've had a similar planting campaign, uh, but what we do find is that there are volunteers and indeed a certain quantity of unharvested crop, which are going to act as a reservoir for blight as they come through from now on. So clearly that makes a very good case for using the best blight material available at the rapid growth phase and particularly making use of the systemic activity to protect new growth. So in summary then, uh, Zorvec and Davia contain Zorvec plus Benthia valicarb and they come from two different chemical groups providing a good anti-resistant strategy. Uh, and as you can see here, just a reminder of the rates for use in potatoes at 0.4 and indeed in onions at 0.5 per litre per hectare. So just a few details about downy mildew in onions. Uh, you can see from these images just how destructive it really is. Looking at the trials, which in this instance have come from the Netherlands, you'll see that the yield responses to Zorvec versus other market standards were significant. Note please that it's at the field rate is 0.5 of a litre per hectare and in this instance all applications were applied on the same interval. And here's a brief summary of Zorvec and Davia use in onions. So a reminder that you use 0.5 of a litre per hectare, you're allowed a maximum of three applications on the crop but two only in succession and it should be applied on a seven day interval. If you have any further questions, please ring the Corteva technical hotline on 0800 689 8899, or indeed visit the website. You can see the details here.